100.7 WMMS. Cleveland. Call the Alan Cox Show. Thanks for turning me on and allowing me to spend this time with you. I hope I can turn you on. 216-578-1007 or 1-800-348-1007. 35192. Want to send me a text for anything? AlanCoxShow.com is where you can watch. Bridget Linton is sitting in today for Mary from your Cleveland Browns. Bridget Yo, underscore Brownies. Linton 8. I posted a photo on my Instagram. Yes, thank People you for doing that. It. What a lovely picture, by the way. Thank you. It's kind of a newish headshot. It, I was going to say, it uh, looks professionally taken. Yes. Uh, it's hard to say, though. See, I'm an old guy, so it's like the only photos that I want taken of me are by people who know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Because Now, granted, I, I will look terrible in them because I don't know how to look or pose or anything. So, ironically, a candid photo of me is the only one in which I look human. <laughs> but Why, it's a toss-up. It's, you know. Do you feel like you try too hard when... the camera is in your face and you feel like you have to pose i don't try at all oh okay. so then it <laughs> I, I it's it's a it's a an uphill battle for the photographer right mm-hmm. not a smiler um yeah. it's whatever so but you're you know obviously you're locked into that whole thing you know what you're doing you know your angles right yes i enjoy it yeah. well listen i told you your teeth are looking extra white today so and i, I don't like know why that be, is i feel like you should be showing those teeth more often in your photos. hi everybody <laughs> no you know what it is because i have a short tooth on the bottom it drives me crazy i, I was doing a couple of cameos this morning okay okay i have a short tooth down here you can see it i'm sure people have noticed it right a short right. tooth i've never heard of that well, I just feel like it's in so front. Not? Well, it is, but it's also short, right? Okay. So when, but and lucky me, it lines up just so. So when I'm talking, it looks like I'm missing a tooth. My lip mm. makes it look like there's a space there instead of a. Sh- so years ago, I go to my dentist. I go, "Can we just do something about this, please? Can we just get it up to the thing?" And she goes, "It's too small." She goes, "So we can't really do anything cosmetic to it." We'd have to pull it, Ooh. and then you'd wear a thing that would scrunch your other teeth together. And I go, so, <laughs> I mean, I was like, it, it, it didn't even make sense to me. Like, I understood what she was saying, but I was like, that sounds really time-consuming for something that's just a minor insecurity of mine. Mm-hmm. Right? right, and I don't think anyone else notices it. I mean, you. I, I don't it know makes if me they sick do. every day. <laughs> every day, yeah. I see his stupid short tooth, yeah. and I'm like, I can't I believe know. I have to work with this short tooth idiot. I know. <laughs> don't want no short tooth, man. <laughs> well, I was gonna say maybe they could file the other ones down, but that might be. Oh God! Too much. Well, no, I don't. Because I had I had braces. Make them all short. (laughs) Well, (laughs) that's what I was thinking. So then, when I talk, it looked like I'd have no bottom teeth Mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, Yeah, or maybe it wasn't the best idea. Because when I had braces, like these two teeth were higher up, so when they straightened out, they were longer. So they just filed them down to make them all the same length. Yeah. But I guess that was Very more of nice. a, a long tooth situation, yeah. not a short yeah. tooth situation. Right. Yeah, you're bringing uh, long tooth problems to a short tooth situation, <laughs> yeah. and that's just not yeah. going to do Yeah, it. it's really just not nice yeah. of me. Yeah. You and your long tooth energy over there. <laughs> Calm down, why don't you? Uh, I never had to get braces. I always had I didn't either, and Whoa. I both of my old, no, my son uh, had to get braces, but neither the of my thing, daughters have had to get The only thing that I had, I had a little bit more of a gap in my front two teeth. You don't have one now. It's not anymore because they, they, I mean, it was so small that they just, when they were doing like, uh, like I chipped my tooth. Yeah. And uh, they, when they're putting that back on, they're like, we can close this gap a little bit with just a little bit of, uh, or the like putty that they Bondo yeah, or whatever. Bondo, yeah. yeah. And they're, I'm like, yeah, do it. And they did. And it looks great. Plus, people are rocking the gap now. Like, my yeah. eight year old has like one in her front teeth and she couldn't care less. She loves it. So I'm like, all right. It's like a staple. People want those now. I guess so. See, so, yeah, you guys are lucky. I had to have everything. Like spacers, expander, bite jumper, God. braces. My what teeth is a were, bite jumper? Uh, yeah, it, I don't even know if they still do it anymore. It was not a pretty Something. sight. You guys, I was metal mouth in middle school. It was ridiculous. Oh. I was so skinny and scrawny and then just like this mouth did full of metal. Wear, did you have to wear the headpiece at night? No, so that <laughs> was in play. That's what the bite jumper was. The bite oh, jumper so was, that's what that was. But it was permanently. She so wasn't was, a kid in the 50s, Pat. I don't know. <laughs> it was like a, a bar would start at the very back of your teeth, on your top teeth. And then it would connect to the oh two front teeth. God. And it made you, because I had an overbite, so it made you oh, have an underbite. Oh, bring anything in. Oh, so I brought no. it like this. So I had these two bars that made me look like this for a long time. 
And then, and then when they took it off, it went out. back to right. Yes, and now my bite is normal. So that's so, so. I remember somebody one time go like they were being mean on social media, and they said something about having an underbite, and I'm like, I. I was Wait, so that you, that, that yeah, you, they they were like, criticizing you. Yeah, insulting they said I have you? an uh, underbite. Said, you have an underbite? Yeah, and I'm like, I don't think you know what an underbite is. Yeah, I don't think and so. And he's like, Oh my god, he does it now. <laughs> and I'm like, Not, I don't think you know what an underbite right. is. Like, I have a little bit of an overbite, but I don't have an underbite. Is, an underbite is yeah, jaw like this, like your bottom mm. teeth in front of your mm-hmm. front teeth. But it is a common story, isn't it? These ugly ducklings who grow up and then they go. Suck it. Look at me now. <laughs> okay, so you might not have been that overt that about it. the best phrase. <laughs> Listen, they. So, do you guys know how they have the. Um, is this called superlatives? Superlatives. Super, yeah, in the yearbook, you know, most yes. likely to succeed. Yes. Most handsome, most pretty, all that. So, Cock we had that. most likely to recede. <laughs> I was uh-huh. actually uh, most photogenic in high school, so Ooh. shut up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll is be able to true? look out for your new yes, headshots. Would, is I, that just because you had the highest uh, quantity of photos in the yearbook? or and no, you served those Lukes? <laughs> <laughs> my uh, senior pictures were, like, top-notch. Like, they were they were really good. Good for you. I had hockey hair. I had the whole thing. I, had, I couldn't wait to get on. Oh, I had hair. frosted tips. Hey! Oh. I made my mom remove my, my top layer of braces because I was like, I am not going to take my senior picture remembering I had braces. Metal uh, mouth. So I got them taken off for one day just to take the pictures, and then I got it, I had to get them on the next day. See, I will say I'm glad I got my whole brace face situation done in middle school. Right. Well, I got them off like midway through freshman year, and it was crazy. It was Christmas break. I got my braces off. I had donated my hair sometime in like end of seventh grade going into eighth grade. So it wasn't a good look. My hair is too thick. It should not have been short. So over that time, my braces when it got came short, off. did it just go? Ooh. Yes, it just got big. <laughs> so my hair started getting back to like long, and then I kind of just started to develop. So I came back. People thought I was a new girl. They're like, who's That's that? That's what I'm saying. And I'm like, what do you got? It's, it's me, Bridget. Bridget. Yeah. And they're like, no. Still the goofy, goofy girl. They're like, no, right. no what no. happened? It all happened at once. All the guys' pants are getting tighter. <laughs> they're like holding their books in front of them all of a sudden. What's up, guys? No. Well, so- uh, nothing. How are you? What I was getting at, though, the superlatives, I don't know why I can't say that word right, but so we did the yearbook one, but we also more had- work done on your teeth. <laughs> so what was yours? They, they also had it for, well, I won best dancer uh-huh. in the yearbook. Yeah. But then we had yeah, a school newspaper. Because you went to school with a bunch of white kids. Well, I think it was my Irish <laughs> dancing skills, Bill, that really no, I thought the, the Irish the dancing, but you know, yeah. different yeah, but, strokes. But if you, You're not you lying. Put, you put a professional Irish dancer against- one black person that can just dance. I'm giving it to the black person every time. Yeah, you're right. I think I had maybe like five <laughs> yeah. in, at Green High School. Yeah. So <laughs> Green is yeah. not a diverse school. <laughs> not not a very diverse school, I will say. Maybe she's black Irish. I don't know. <laughs> so in the yearbook, though, we went through every single person in our grade and just people had fun with it and came up with funny things. Actually, now looking back, this is really inappropriate, but there was one kid that graduated with me, still one of my dear friends, Cameron, and he was one of the only black people in our grade, and his was Oreo. Like yeah. black, like he's basically mm-hmm. white, but black on that side. Yeah. Probably not appropriate, but, that, but that's what I'm saying. We had fu- yeah. we had yeah, they, funny they things, did stuff like that. Most likely, I, I, it wasn't my school, but I, that's what my friend said. He said most likely to become a porn star. Yes, like, funny thing. So mine was they that. best transformation since sixth grade. I was gonna mm-hmm. say yours would be yeah. like most improved. Yeah. Or whatever. And we don't mean grades. We don't know what well, those yeah. are. <laughs> but yeah, no. If you call yeah. yourself an Oreo, like who cares, right? I'm right, sure right. the school yeah. would get all undies in a yeah. twist, but whatever. We didn't have superlatives. We just had, oh, okay. we, I think it was Catholic high school, so I'm sure they didn't want anybody yeah. doing, you know, uh, it was like told what clubs you were in and, you know, and of course I was very cool. Oh, so, <laughs> were you president yeah. of every club? Oh, no, please. I was in like, I, no, I was, I was. Did you win class clown? I was student council vice president. No, because my high school class clown had been beaten out of me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so no, there was nothing like that. But I, I just wanted to get on. Yeah, there was. Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, I didn't have the school spirit enough to win any superlatives. Like I was barely at school, barely went to class, didn't have any, like didn't didn't want to be there. So there was his no, was almost yeah. photo not available. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty close to. <laughs> uh, and so like the class clown, funny kid. I like I knew him, but I was never gonna get it. Even though I feel like I was very funny. You got to be in class to be the clown. And I was uh, skipping a lot of classes. Oh, Bill, I didn't take you for a skipper. Oh, I hate the school. It was the worst. It was oh, the yeah, worst. he's not a paperwork yeah, guy. Yeah, I want nothing to do. No, no but I feel like for the social aspect of it, you would enjoy school. 
Yeah, well, that's why that was, that's why I was doing. I was skipping class so I could socialize. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he got yeah, too yeah. much social <laughs> aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not enough academic. Or aspect. Or just be anywhere else. Like I would, like I uh, would just fake sick and stay home a lot. Or I would just go. Like I would take four lunches in a day because I was also like would blend in enough that the the teachers and stuff that were taking like watching the lunches weren't paying attention. They didn't notice that I was the, like there. The Multiple entire times. time they were there. <laughs> what ups your status, though, in high school? If you drive a car, it doesn't matter how crappy your car is, having the like the freedom of driving yourself to school, like my social life changed dramatically. They were like, oh, can you give me yeah, a ride home? Yeah, because you can give other people rides. I know, but like it was people that didn't even talk to me. I was like, yeah, I'll give you a ride home. And then I was like, wait a minute. No, gas money. <laughs> give me gas mm. money. So they yeah. were like, oh, man, whatever. So it went back to normal after that, but. For a short time, I was pretty cool. See, once I was able to start driving to school, that made it even easier because if I could get out, out that there. door and be like, once I get to my car, you know, this is the 90s. You can just disappear for the day. You get yeah. home with, As long as you get home when you're supposed to get home from school, nobody's going to really know. And then they would give you. It wasn't like they had gun turrets trained right, on the exactly. parking lot. But every once in a while, I'd run into somebody and they're like, where are you going? And I'd be like, ah. Uh, back to class, and they're like, "Okay." <laughs> he has yeah. running but, shoes but on. Usually, they they keys jangling in his hand. They let you do your notes, like you'd get a, a signature from a teacher on the bottom of your workbook. Like we had a, like a, a notebook that we take around to all our classes where we'd write our assignments in and stuff like that. So I would just forge a signature on there and be like, "It's so and so." There was a huge school, so nobody knew who any of the other teachers were, and they'd be like, "Okay," and they. And you I'd are just leave. a rebel. I just don't like school. Don't make me sit in the classroom and listen to somebody else. See, I was a rule follower. Me too. I can tell. Just <laughs> I liked school. I liked learning stuff. Me too. I liked, yeah. Listen, I I wasn't even against learning. It just by that time, I was just like, enough already. And I felt like it was very- People wait to graduate. Me, I'm like, yeah. oh, man, I'm sad. I'm I mean, gonna, I was happy. I'm going to miss high school. I was happy to get out of there. I knew college is where I was most likely yeah. going to blow up, but I mean- I was ready to leave. No, and when people are like, oh, I can't wait to go to college, and I'm like, I have no desire to go- and spend money. Oh my God, college was so much this. fun. Oh. I'm really salty that me and Bridget didn't get to kick it in in school. Like, I know. We, we ran in different circles. I didn't see you at like even the same bars I went to. Where did you go? I mean, I would go to Score. I would do. I would go to Manny's. Um, but, but before Score, what was it called? It was sh- something with an S. Uh, Scores like, has an S. But no, it was another. It, it was another place. <laughs> Score bought it. I forget. I know. What, I feel like school, that was at the end of my college. Or college time like manny's was the place so i was yeah, definitely man. there a lot man and but like freshman year it was 69 taps yeah I mean, oh yeah. god i remember doing that we do an akron bar crawl yeah, yeah they had wow. it was 18 and up on thursday so freshman year that was my spot i have been here a long time yes you have sir wow 69 hey taps. mark yes what's up mark actually my name is robert Oh, I'm sorry. The screen uh, must have auto-filled your name or something. What's going on, Robert? Oh, no. I just told Pound Cake my name was Mark. I lied. I'm I'm Robert from Barberton. All right. Okay. How, how are you <laughs> Good doing? Good job. Why are you hiding from Pound Cake? Because I didn't know if he'd put me through or not because I sing songs about pee and poo. Oh, you're that guy. Oh, oh this oh, guy. You're that guy. Oh, oh, all right. Robert Pee Poo. Hello, Hello Robert Pee Poo. Uh-huh. I was calling for the job interview for Spoon Screener. Well, I'm not holding job interviews for that position. Oh, someone okay. You know what? Let me let me let me, me play text. let me play along. What are your qualifications? Oh, okay. I I've been answering the phone my whole life. See, that's what everybody's gonna tell me. See, Pound Cake had never answered a phone before when I hired him, and so yeah, I was like, like I'm fresh again. "Here's a guy who's gonna bring a fresh perspective to answering the phone." So ironic that that works against you, uh, Mark Robert. But uh, you know what am I what am I gonna do? Actually, my name is not Robert either. I lied about that too. Oh, what is it? It's Peter. Peter, right. Okay. Next, you're going to tell, let me guess. It's not Peter either. You lied about that. You're a compulsive liar. It's kind of my weakness, man. But yeah. I, I bring variety to life. Which you do I sing season. other songs too. Mm-hmm. Such as? I, um, so, so, such as. Uh, jingle bells with pee pee poo. Mm. Oh, wanna, so there's. You want to hear it? No, so I, I think I understand it. <laughs> no. <laughs> so there's always a pee pee poo. That's the common thread through all of your uh, musical compositions. I can add more words if you pay me. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna top the pee pee poo song, the OG. Well, I don't know about that, man. Mm. 
I, I can I can sing a song about bad breath. You want to hear that one? You know what? Um, I'd I'd rather you sang it directly into my face, uh, given the content. Uh, tell you what, uh, send me some uh, send me some uh, finished compositions or lyrics. Uh, just attach them to an email. I'll go through them. I can come. I can come to your show and bring my ukulele. Nah, that's okay. I don't know your name, or that you even have a ukulele, or that you even have breath. You might be lying about my this whole thing. Steven. Steven, you Steven. big fat liar. All right, thank you, Steven. Pee-pee I appreciate what it. I like to do pee pee poo, pee pee poo, poo poo. I like to do too. This is the poo-poo, same guy, pee-pee-poo. Mark Steven yeah. Robert. Pee pee poo, poo pee 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 poo poo poo. Oh, pee pee's what I like to do pee pee poo, pee pee poo, poo poo. I like to do too poo poo pee pee poo. Pound Cake is thinking of Pints, which was before pints, the score. That's what it was. Mm, yeah, Pints. pints yes. yeah, they had a bunch of dollar bills stuck to the ceiling. I yep. missed that place because oh. I can't find my dollar bill now. Mm-hmm. They took it. Alan, my kid was voted most likely to eat food off of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's when you get framed, right? Yes, because everybody's looking for like, mm-hmm. hey, I'm going to be, you know. I always like when people put it, <clears throat> people had the presence of mind to say, I'm going to be a rock and roll star, you know, and then they were. It's like Dave Grohl or Bono or whatever. You know? mm-hmm. I always liked those. Because it's more exciting than somebody who says that, and then they just they don't, don't stick do it. What with did you it. say you were going to do? We didn't have superlatives. We didn't have. I know, but, like, when people ask you, mm-hmm. like, what are you going to do when you graduate? Were you like, I'm going to be a radio star? Oh, no. I fell ass backwards in the radio. That's why it was funny because I started doing stand-up this, my sophomore year in college. My high school, for whatever reason, had a five-year reunion. Well, some people were still in college then, yeah. so, and nobody had really gotten their career going or whatever, but I was, like, just getting into radio. I've been doing stand-up for a few years, and so I go to this thing because I'm like, oh, it'll be fun to just kind of kick it with some people and and catch up. And I'm talking to somebody, and, I, and they're like, what are you doing? I go, I'm, I'm doing stand-up. And she goes, oh, so's Chris. And I go, oh, this kid from my class who never said a funny thing in his entire life, ever, ever. Like, it would not even occur to you. He was quiet. I'm like, oh, this kid's been hiding his light under a bushel basket. So I go talk to him, and we're kind of rapping a little bit about whatever. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, we should go, you know, hang see? This dude was just awful, just terrible, terrible. But he's walking around the place, be like, yeah, like this. And I was like, oh, my God. So I wasn't telling anybody anything about mm-hmm. anything unless they asked. But, yeah, we didn't have a thing that was like, I'm going to do this. Right. Because so did, whatever happened to that guy? Did he make it? No clue. Be dead for all no, of yeah. I do not. Oh, no, okay. he absolutely did not make it. But <laughs> I don't know what he's what doing. He nope. <laughs> no, he didn't. Trust me. He's, you know, I would have heard about it. No, I, I, I have no idea. Before, what? Pound Cake is thinking of Shoop's Hallway. I think we established what he was thinking of, yeah, right? I don't know. Pines, Pines and Shoops was that was they were right next to each other, and it was all bought out by one big bar. Oh, I've never been to Shoops Hallway. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it, it was Pints was the main bar, and then right next to it was a, a literally it was a hallway. It was just a hence the name. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it was Interesting. just a bar, and then Score bought both of them, and then they made like a little party center in the middle. It's kind of neat. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it was like an evolution of all of the bars in Akron. Like my freshman year, like Barley House in downtown Akron was the spot, but you had to be 21 and up. I could not wait to turn 21 to go. But then by the time I was 21, no one went to Barley House. That wasn't the <laughs> cool spot anymore, and Manny's was the cool spot. Isn't it weird how, like for no reason really. Right. You're just like, yeah, let's go to Manny's now. Yeah. Yeah. And then like for a time, like I think Brubaker's was cool, and the Brubaker's isn't even there anymore. No. Are, are there any Brubaker's left? I don't was know. that a chain? I, yeah, I feel like there's like a still small one chain. in Green where I, feel I like grew there, up. There was one in there's one in Stowe. Fairlawn that I don't know if it's still there though. I think there was, there's still one in Stowe and there's one in Green. Uh, Bridget, do you know where Interbelt Nightclub is? Yes, downtown? yes. I remember I it was snowing and my friend really really wanted to go. Um, so we walked from EJ Thomas to uh, <laughs> Interbelt and it was so cold. But it was a, and and it was a Monday night because that was a night to go for the gay club. But uh-huh. the Rue did not pick us up. So oh yeah, that, oh the Rue yeah that, that was that was clutch. You didn't home. go a wassailing. No. Ah <laughs> uh, well, he's walking to a bar in the snow. I gotta take a break. Hey, Bridget Lynn's here. Ooh. She's the most improved. No, most what? Yeah, uh, best transformation. Best since transformation sixth grade. since sixth grade. <laughs>
And that was when she got to high school. Mm -hmm. She's Bridget underscore Linton 8 on your social media. And uh, I got to take a break here. I have a Day to Remember tickets, actually, on the way back. Um, If you want to go see those guys, uh, they're coming through to do, they're headlining a, a big old tour that will bring them to Jacob's Pavilion on June the 14th. So we'll hand those tickets off coming up.